What's going on guys? I'm recording this straight off the YouTube app and it's something that one of my friends asked me to do and I thought it might help a lot of other people in case they want to watch it. So it's mainly about scales. Um, I notice a lot of people when they're first getting into piano, they get told again and again to do scales, to practice scales and it sounds great and all and yeah, it's a good thing. But the main thing that we lose out on is the reason why we practice skills. I mean, we get told that it helps us in our pieces and it does, but there's a lot more specific things that skills are used for in the piano. And I want to go over a couple of those things. So when we play pieces in general and piano, especially high level piano, we're focused a lot on our technique. And what we mean by that is how our fingers touch the key, um, our wrist movement, our arm movement, uh, etc. If you're playing with flat fingers, that's bad. If you're lifting your fingers, that's bad. If your bridge is collapsing while you're playing, that's bad. For example, flat finger playing, bridge collapsing while you play, lifting of fingers after the key, not good because you're slapping down and you're not getting the same sound that you would if you just pressed it like that with your knuckle up. These are technique things and they're very important when you're playing piano, especially high level pieces where everything you do, like it's not just learning the keys. You gotta learn the sounds behind the keys. You gotta think about the sound that you want from each press, each chord. Do you want, or do you want a warm versus harsh? Like these are things that you have to think about when you're playing and scales. These are the perfect way to practice these types of technique things, especially with your fingers. So when you're doing a scale, you're not really just thinking about, oh, I'm getting the right notes and I'm doing it fast. Because then you're not worried about your actual finger technique. So when you're practicing your scales, make sure you're not playing your scales with flat fingers. You're not lifting after each press. that you're playing with the tips of your fingers. One thing to practice, especially, you could just do this on one note, is when you play a key, make sure that your knuckle comes out. As you can see, that white part of my knuckle is sticking out. Use the tip of your finger and make sure that your hand is balanced. That's very good contact with the piano. And even if you're playing really fast pieces, like that, you wanna make sure that the tip of your finger is on the key, especially in these fast pieces, actually and that the contact with the key is that is so that your knuckle pops out like that that's good form that's good posture and that makes it so that your key is as clear as possible your press is as clear as possible so when you're practicing your scales don't lift your fingers don't play with flat fingers first of all play with the tips of your fingers don't flatten your fingers after you press them so for example one thing that i used to do would be when i'm playing really fast scales if you can see my uh, ring finger is flattening. That signals a tension in that finger that shouldn't be there and it should be very relaxed. And also make sure that your, um, that your fingers don't lift after you play them. And that's a very important thing. When you switch these positions, it should be a seamless motion. You shouldn't, it shouldn't be like an entire arm motion where you're switching. Because there, there you go, I missed the note and it also sounded a lot harsher than the rest. The sound has to be very even throughout. And these things that I told you about technique, playing with the tips of your fingers, making sure that your knuckle is coming out to signal good contact with the key, not lifting your fingers, these are all good things. And of course, on top of that, you should be focusing on not flaring your elbow, making sure that your wrist movement is loose. Your wrist should always be around key level, shouldn't be higher, shouldn't be lower like that, just around key level like that, very loose. And that the motion between the transition like this, it's very seamless. It's very, it's very just, it's smooth. It shouldn't be an effort. And if it is an effort, then you should work to practice, you should work and practice to fix that. Well, thank you so much. And I hope this helped whoever else that it could have helped. Um, uh, I mainly just posted this for a friend, but uh, if this helped you, just let me know in the comments. I appreciate it for watching. Thank you.